welcome back. In today's video, I will be showing you how to do this zero space cut crease look. Feel free to use whatever lip color that you like, but I kind of wanted to do something dramatic today, so I went with these dark lips. When I was first starting out with makeup, this type of eye look, a cut crease look, was one of the hardest to learn how to do on my hooded eyes, and especially with the unevenness of my eyes. I hope you guys get to try this out, and keep on practicing if you don't get it the first time around. Also, if you're interested in the exact color, the name, and the number of all the products I'm using, I will have a list of them in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off by priming our eyelids. I'm using Max Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. And blend that out. I'll be taking that product in on my lower lash line as well as in my waterline. This is basically the same thing as doing like a white liner in your waterline, but instead I'm just using my primer. The first color we're going to be putting on the eyes is from the Natasha Denona 28 palette. We'll be using this color here, which is called Flamingo. It's a, a very light, pinky, beigey color, and I'll be applying that all over the lid as a base. Now that we've created a nice even texture for our lid space, I'm going in with a darker brown color from the same palette right here. This one's called Arizona. And I'm gonna start carving out this crease. What I like to do is I like to open my eyes completely as, as far open as I can get them. And then I place it right where my lash line meets my crease area here once they're open. So right here. You see where I placed it and watch when I look down. And then we will follow our eye shape all the way to the end of our eye, like so. Then we're gonna flick it out in the same angle as we would do our liner. My liner will typically go in this angle toward the end of my eyebrows here, so that's why I have drawn it in like that. This is gonna be our basic shape for our cut crease. And let's go ahead and blend that. My eyes are quite uneven and when I do really detailed, defined looks like this, it can get sort of tricky because they can look very prominently uneven. So what I like to do is I like to keep a lot of the definition here on this outer corner and I will blend most of it out here in the inner corner. As long as the two are defined and match on the ends here, it'll look really pretty and so that's kind of how I cheat and kind of manipulate this look on myself. So we'll just keep blending. To blend this out a little more, I'm taking the Lorac Pro palette and this color called Garnet here. I'm just making sure not to over blend it here on this outer corner. The next color I'll be using is from the Sigma Warm Naturals palette. This is the color Russet. I'm using this to deepen up this cut crease. And we'll blend. You may feel like the cut crease on both your eyes may be a little uneven. So we're going to be using our primer that we first started with as an eraser for this look. And I will go in and redefine the zero space with the primer and try to make the eyes look as similar as possible. Basically just cleaning up this line here. Next, I'll be creating my winged liner. I'm just using a, a black clay paint liner. Keep the shape of your wing parallel to this crease shape that we created. I 
All right, and we will set our eyeliner later so that it doesn't crease throughout the day. But I'm gonna move on to our lower lash line. I'll be going back in with the color Arizona from the Natasha Denona palette, and I'll be applying this closest to my lower lash line. Then once we get into this inner corner, do you see how I'm keeping my brush pretty parallel to my lash line? Once we get to this inner corner, I'm gonna slant it down towards my nose, just like this. Brush the color on this way. That way it opens up our eyes. Then to blend out, take your brush vertical like this and just blend out those edges. To help deepen up my lash line, I'm taking this black cream color from the Flash, the Makeup Forever Flash palette. You can use a cream black eyeliner, a pencil, any of those sorts will work. And I'm applying this as a dark base for my next shadow to stick onto really well. Then we'll be using our russet color from the Sigma palette and going over the black we just drew. It's hard to get the same color payout if you layer this russet color on top of the brown that we did first. Then to blend out the edges of that, I'm going in with the Garnet color from the Lorac Pro palette and applying it to the outer edges of the russet color. This step will just help create that really nicely blended look. To give my black liner more definition and a longer staying power, I'll be going over what I've already drawn in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. When I do this with my eyeliner, my eyeliner almost never transfers throughout the day, which with my kind of eyes, it's a very common problem. Let's go ahead and do mascara. The lashes I'll be using today are two strips that I've double stacked together. This one, this one here is the MAC 43 lash and this is just a wispy lash, like an Ardell wispy. And I'll be stacking the MAC one on top of the wispies and applying that closest to my lash line. And once they're dry, I kind of like to push them up a little bit and then make sure that they are styled similarly. <laughs> Some hair styling. Now to finish the eyes, I'm taking this color called Cream from the Natasha Denona palette and just applying that to my inner corners right above where we placed that angle here. Everything is pretty much done with the eyes. Feel free to take a blending brush and just go through and blend anywhere you feel like you want to even out both eyes or you just want to polish up a little more. All right, that should be good. For the lips, you're more than welcome to use something a little more subdued since the eye look is pretty dramatic. But I kind of want to play around with my liquid lipsticks that I have. I will be using the Kat Von D Damned Liquid Lipstick. All right, and one more coat. The reason why I do one more coat is because, for whatever reason, because of the color of this lipstick, it tends to look a little streaky and uneven. So two coats make it most opaque, I think. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you get a chance to try this look out. If you do, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Facebook. All of that is at Marla Neamdorf. And as always, if you guys have suggestions or if there's a certain video that you'd like me to do, always leave that in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.